Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it hey loves welcome back to my channel if it's your first time stopping by hi my name is boo boo and if it's not your first time hey baby so in today's video we're going to be talking about grown woman starter pack i'm in my late 20s 28 to be precise and while i was strolling to my late 20s there were transitional tips that i had to take to get me into where i am now i'm not where i want to be trust me but i'm far from where i was and i just figured that there are ladies that might be going through this transitional phase and you know they don't know how to start so i decided to share five tips that has helped me get to where i am now and you know putting me on the journey to where i want to be so without further ado let's get started so the first tip in being a grown woman is for you to be self-aware being self-aware is very 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 important right you need to know your weaknesses you need to know your strengths trust me negative or positive just know about it i mean when you know the negative things and there are things that you want to work on be aware of it it's not people telling you oh this is how you are and maybe you are in denial no you need to be aware you need to know people that are in your circle people that love you people that root for you, you need to have clarity on where you want to be be it your career your business whatever it is that you want to do or your job you need to have clarity on that even if you are not there right now you can walk towards getting there you have a plan you know what you want to do you know how you want to go about it and you need to know the kind of environment you enjoy being in the kind of environment that lifts you up as a grown woman you don't want to be everywhere you need to be in a certain place wherever that place is for you church club <laughs> if it's the gym you know that yes you are going there to work out if it's a church you know that yes just a place that feeds you not a place that takes out from you so the second tip is for your outward appearance to look grown you know with age our bodies might change you know what i'm talking about so there are outfits that might be really tight or we must have outgrown and then we are still holding on to it because you know they're probably your favorite just go to your wardrobe fish them out and let them go there are styles that don't look grown so you need to go on a search they are full with lots of beautiful women beautiful styles that you can adopt you can go on pinterest just look for outfits that you really like go on instagram look for outfits that you like look for people's styles you know we have influencers lots of beautiful fashion influencers that we can you know just search i'm not saying you should adopt their style exactly but you can just see dresses that you like and you know just save it even if you don't have the money to get them now just save it on pinterest you can have a mood board so you can just save those outfits the moment you get money get yourself so the next tip is for you to have a morning and evening routine you can't just wake up aimlessly and don't know what to do or you wake up and just press your phone before you go to work or you just eat and then you leave the house you need to spend time with yourself okay you need to know yourself you need to have healthy habits as a grown woman so in the morning what would you enjoy doing i spend time in prayer i notice that when i wake up and i don't pray i just go about my day <laughs> everything will just be going wrong things will just i'll just feel restless so i spend time in prayer and then afterwards i do exercises and then i can do my chores before i start my day so that's for me for you you need to know things that you enjoy you need to know things that you want to work on about yourself so if you have insecurities and you know that you can do some things about it um, before you know seeking assistance like maybe surgery or whatever then you can work out if it's a bad break that you can adopt a good oral hygiene okay if it's for you to build your confidence you know that you can listen to podcasts you know that you can read a book or videos that can uplift you videos that can help you build 
build your confidence so that way you can spend 30 minutes doing that you can spend 30 minutes listening to a, a podcast or a video or even read maybe a chapter or just a page that could help your day if you wake up early for your morning routine you have enough time to make a healthy breakfast you don't just go ba- go about getting junk because you didn't have enough time to prepare for work or you didn't have enough time to get your day started so morning routine is really important and for night routine how do you go to bed your skincare routine your body care you know take care of yourself spend time with yourself how do you go to bed do you just go to bed naked that's good I used to go to bed naked for uh, the longest time, but that's TMI. But how do you go to bed? You know, when you have your bath, you have a good, comfortable night where it's not the same. Just wear a normal t-shirt and go to bed. No, romanticize your life. Take care of yourself. This is you right now. You have evolved. So you need to treat yourself as a grown woman. Okay, when you were a kid, your mom was always doing this for you. Your mom would bat you in the evening and then get you nightwear. For you to go to bed, you usually change. So how is it now that when you grow up, because you are grown, your mom doesn't have that responsibility anymore. Then you abandon all those routines that she has started already. Why would you do that? It's time for you to get your routines right. So the next tip is your reaction how do you react to things that are uncomfortable how do you react to people how do you react to situations that get you angry and upset how do you even handle your emotions you can't go about reacting like a mad person (laughs) you need to be able to handle your emotions people don't think the same way you think okay so if they try to get you upset people will definitely get you upset every day but how do you react to them your colleagues people you talk to you know where you go and get money from the bank they might be cute to get fuel and all of that all those really uncomfortable situations they can get you really irritated but how do you react to it you need to be more patient you need to work on your anger see pride and anger those two they are not your best friends okay you need to get rid of them even if they upset you ignore them or react in a calm way i know that people that are really that way you might get upset but you just need to calm down think before you even act i know it's really difficult trust me i've been there i'm still there and doing the work It doesn't start and end in one day. You need time to build, okay? So the next tip is for you to feel content. I know that there are people that are not where they want to be in life. And social media has made it seem like, yes, some people are really moving forward and you, you are not moving forward. Nothing is happening in your life sis trust me that's not true you need to be content with your life like i said if you do some soul searching and you know where you want to be you are content and you are grateful for where you are there are lots of people that are not where you are right now they are even trying to get to where you are so be grateful be aware of your journey and be grateful for your journey be comfortable it's not when maybe your friend gets a good paying job your mind records you will not be depressed or when your friend is getting married you'll be sick and say oh it has not happened to me no a grown woman is aware that good things can happen to other people and it will come to you at your own time so you need to be content you need to be grateful i know it can be hard but this is a journey okay you have to do the work to be a grown woman it doesn't just fall on your lap it doesn't just happen overnight it takes time you don't need to get to your late 20s to be grown okay if you feel like you want to do better these are the steps that can help you these are the steps that helped me stop feeling down and lost that's with you so you need to find yourself and you know offer the beautiful gift of yourself to the world okay remember the whole world is waiting in anticipation for your manifestation why are you sleeping get up and start working hope that you really found it helpful leave a comment let me know what you think and if you have more tips for me leave it in the comments so others can learn as well thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye